guys, I'm Lane Viz, and welcome to this science experiment. Today, we're gonna put some things in acetone. So for this science experiment, you're gonna need some kind of hard container, acetone, and different kind of polymers, like packing peanuts, or this packing foam, or styrofoam. Then, we're gonna take it to the next level, and you're gonna need some kind of mold, and a plate, and you probably will want some rubber gloves. And a napkin might be good in case you spill something. First thing you wanna do is take your acetone, or acetone, how do you say that? And pour it into your dish. Let's try this. This is just some foam uh, that they use for packaging. Ah, it doesn't. I don't know if it's coated with something or what. Do you think this is gonna work? I've seen someone do this before. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah, look at that. We're just going down, down, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Sweet, sweet, baby. Uh, 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 uh. That's cool. Thumbs up, guys. This is so cool. Oh, I wish I had like some kind of thumbs up. I should have wrote a thumbs up on there. Dang. Whoa, that was not good. This is why you have a napkin. Look at that. Oh, what? <laughs> That's awesome! It's like goopy! Nice! This is so interesting. Let's do this whole thing. Speed it up, Lane! What's happening here is the acetone is loosening the polymers, especially in the peanuts, because it's filled with air. It's not really dissolving in there, it's just pushing the air pockets out of it. So this reaction happens because both of these substances are nonpolar substances. Pretty awesome, I think so. Thumbs up for nonpolar substances. Woo, woo, woo! So I told you guys that we were gonna take this experiment to the next level. So what you wanna do now is take your gloves. I got some heavy duty rubber gloves. Probably wanna use something uh, plasticky and not cottony because you're gonna be touching the acetone and you don't want it to absorb. We wanna take all of our goop that we have here now. See how just kind of stretchy it is? And I have this dinosaur mold right here. What I wanna do is take this and put it into the mold. I hope I have enough. So now that we have it in our dinosaur mold, just kind of form it out a little bit. And now we're gonna wait. It takes about eight to 10, maybe 12 hours to let this thing harden up and you'll have a nice mold. While we're waiting, you can click that subscribe button and subscribe for more science experiment and other fun videos that we do over on this channel. Waiting, 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 waiting. Come on, come on. We're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. In the meantime, you guys can go and watch the behind the scenes of this video. Look right up there. Look at how awesome that is. Behind the scenes of what's going on here and plus some more cuteness. A whole bunch more cuteness. We're gonna be doing some more videos too because I have a bunch to shoot today. So go and click this video and check it out, guys. I definitely appreciate it. Doing the weight dance, we're doing the weight dance, doing the weight dance, yeah! Oh, and if you want to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, those are right down there. Make sure to check those out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can click those? You sure can. Go ahead, guys. Click those. Follow us over there, and we'll, we usually put up like teasers and things of what we're doing at the time. Like, I'm gonna put a picture of this up there before the video goes up so you guys have an idea of what's coming. It's like the sneak peek of what's coming. Make sure to go and do it. All right, guys, it's about two days later, and this is our final product. So let's see. What's interesting is that this side is not as hard as this side. So I'm gonna see if I can get this dinosaur out of here, out of this mold. This is so... Ah, cool. There we go. Isn't that neat? It's like a faux plastic dinosaur. Roar! Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> So this is cool. If you guys want to try this, make sure to use your safety gloves because this is what happens. So as y'all saw in the video, some of the acetone splashed and landed onto the table. Did y'all see that? Let me replay it for you. Dang, whoa, that was not good. Well, this is what happened. This is where the plate was, as you can tell. Some of it <laughs> must have gotten underneath there. And also this spot right here is where that splash happened. So don't forget to use your safety gloves and thanks for being shiggity shank. Now how about a little would you rather? All right guys, would you rather for this video, would you rather eat a live snake 
or eat a dead jellyfish. Click the pictures to cast your vote. What that'll do is it'll lock your answer into the system and in an upcoming video, I will reveal which one had the most clicks. And then from there, it'll take you to our YouTube channel. You can check out more of our videos, which we definitely appreciate. Also, make sure you click that subscribe button so that you see which one you guys chose. And if you have something that you wanna buy on Amazon and you wanna support us, please use our links up top there or down below in the description. We get a little bit of pennies for whatever you buy on Amazon. Y'all have a great day, guys. Hmm. Snake or jellyfish? The snake might kind of like wiggle down your throat the entire way. And the jellyfish, it's dead, so it'll just feel like a loose spaghetti, you know? Which one are you gonna choose? Hmm. Or you can choose to watch the behind the scenes playing right there in the middle.